Climate change is perhaps the most important challenge we face today. It poses a threat not only to the environment, but also to the global economy, international security, and ultimately, humanity. If we choose to ignore it, we would do so at our own peril, and we would live to regret what we did not do for ourselves and for our children. Thailand attaches great importance to combating this global problem. We fully recognize the imperative of taking action to prevent the further deterioration of our climate. That is why we are firmly committed to fulfilling our responsibilities individually and collectively in cooperation with the international community. Leading up to the Copenhagen Conference in December, Thailand will host the UN Climate Change Talks in Bangkok from September the 28th to October the 9th this year. We will make sure that these talks are productive and yield fruitful outcomes that will move us closer to a satisfactory conclusion at the Copenhagen Conference. To secure a successful outcome in Copenhagen, we believe that the process of negotiation under the UNFCCC must seriously take into account the following conditions. First, we need the political will and determination to strengthen global partnership. We also need early cooperative action to enable the full, effective and sustained implementation of the Convention. Second, all parties must contribute to the global effort to combat climate change in accordance with the Rio principles. Particular attention should be paid to the principles of equity, common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capacities. Third, it must be stressed that sustainable development and economic growth, as well as poverty eradication, are among the top priorities for developing countries. In order to achieve these goals, it is very important for the developing countries, especially those whose geographical locations make them more vulnerable to changes in the climate, to have the ability to adapt and deal successfully with the adverse effects of climate change. Fourth, we need a strong determination from developed countries to deeply cut their emissions in accordance with the historical responsibility principle. This should be accompanied by nationally appropriate actions on the part of developing countries. And last, developed countries must also fulfill their commitments as stated in the Convention. In particular, they need to provide new and additional financial resources, including those required for the transfer of technology to enable developing countries to fully implement the provisions of the Convention. Let me end by thanking the Secretary General for organizing this timely high-level meeting on climate change today at the UN headquarters in New York. I am sure that it will generate a momentum for the successful climate change talks in Bangkok as well as the Copenhagen Conference. Once again, it must be reiterated that our climate is too precious for us to leave unattended. We must act before it is too late. Climate change is a global problem, so it needs a global solution. At this time, it demands our collective attention and action more than ever. We must do our share to curb the climate change and protect humanity. And let us pass on to the next generation an environmentally sustainable and livable planet. Thank you very much for your kind attention.